In the murky halls of the palace, a queen's ambition knows no limitations. When Athaliah, the mother of the murdered king Ahaziah, learns of his death, she sees an opportunity to reclaim the kingdom. However, her route to dominance is paved with blood. In a vicious attempt for power, she orders the slaughter of her own grandsons, the last heirs to the royal line. With the royal dynasty practically extinct, Athaliah believes her rule is secure. However, in the palace's dark corners, a hidden secret might send her dominion crashing down. But, who was Athaliah? She was the Queen of Judah, reigned from 841 to 835 BC, and the only woman to sit on David's throne in the Bible. She was the daughter of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel of Israel, both of whom were notoriously evil. Athaliah married Jehoram, the eldest son of Judah's King Jehoshaphat, uniting two royal lineages. Athaliah's reign was characterized by immense evil, as were the reigns of her predecessors and successors. She was a devout worshiper of Baal, a false god, and her allegiance to this pagan deity made her one of Judah's most renowned characters. Her acts were so vile that they matched the most corrupt kings of Israel and Judah. Athaliah's husband, Jehoram, reigned over Judah until his death in 841 BC. Unlike his father, Jehoshaphat, who had been a good and holy king, Jehoram was evil. His dominion caused strife in Judah, and he followed in the bad footsteps of his in-laws, King Ahab and Queen Jezebel of Israel. When Jehoram died, their 22-year-old son Ahaziah succeeded him as king. Unfortunately, Ahaziah was equally corrupt as his father. Ahaziah was influenced by his mother, Athaliah, and continued his family's bad activities. He reigned wickedly and did not honor God. Athaliah directed her son in these horrible crimes, ensuring that Ahab and Jezebel's evil legacy carried on. Ahaziah's rule was brief, lasting less than one year. His downfall occurred while he was visiting King Joram of Israel, his relative. Joram was also from Ahab's wicked line. At the time, God had determined to terminate Ahab's dynasty due to their idolatry and bad practices. The prophet Elisha dispatched Jehu, a former captain in Ahab's army, to execute God's punishment. Jehu's purpose was to eliminate Ahab's entire family, including Jezebel and her sons. He was anointed as the new king of Israel and was determined to carry out his duty. When Jehu arrived to assassinate King Joram, Ahaziah was present as well. Unfortunately, Ahaziah got caught up in the judgment intended for Ahab's family. Jehu assassinated both Joram and Ahaziah, bringing an end to Ahaziah's brief and evil tenure over Judah. This was the beginning of the end for Athaliah's influence, laying the groundwork for what would come next. When Athaliah discovered that her son Ahaziah had died, she saw an opportunity to gain authority for herself. To secure the monarchy, she ordered the assassination of all Ahaziah's sons, including her own grandchildren. She believed that by wiping out the entire royal family, she would be able to eliminate any opposition to her rule and become queen. However, Athaliah was unaware that one of her grandchildren, a baby named Josh, had survived her fatal scheme. Josh's aunt, Jehoshaphat, who was also the wife of the high priest Jehoiada, discreetly stole the newborn and his nurse and concealed them in a bedroom to protect them from Athaliah's murderous plans. Jehoshaphat and her husband took considerable care to smuggle Josh out of the citadel and bring him to the temple. Josh spent six years concealed beneath the hallowed walls. During this time, Athaliah ruled over Judah, ignorant that the genuine heir to the throne was alive and being safeguarded by people who followed David's true line. Josh's survival would eventually lead to Athaliah's demise, but for the time being, the small boy lived in seclusion, growing up in the temple as Athaliah's dark reign continued over the region. This period of hiding foreshadowed a major turn of events that would soon change Judah's history. As queen, Athaliah used her influence to expand Baal religion across Judah. She erected altars for her idol and even stationed Baal's priests in the temple of the Lord, defiling the hallowed area. 
Athaliah was following in the footsteps of her mother, Jezebel, who had led Israel into idolatry. Athaliah's conduct were in sharp contrast to the meaning of her name. The name Athaliah might signify God is exalted or God deals violently with you. Instead of exalting God, Athaliah turned the people away from him by encouraging false worship and bad activities. But in the end, it was God who dealt with her harshly, bringing her reign to a terrible end. Backslash. After Athaliah ruled for six years, the high priest Jehoiada felt it was time to take action. He posted guards around the temple and brought out young Josh, the true heir to the throne. Josh was anointed king in a public ceremony, and the people celebrated by clapping their hands and shouting, Long live the king! The noise reached Athaliah within the palace. When she realized what was going on, she hurried out yelling, Treason! Treason! However, her cries were unheard. Jehoiada, the high priest, directed the army to capture her. They apprehended Athaliah and executed her at the royal door, bringing an end to her reign of terror. With Athaliah gone, seven-year-old King Josh, guided by the devoted Jehoiada, sought to re-establish order in Judah. One of his first acts as king was to demolish the Temple of Baal. Josh ordered the destruction of Baal's altars and statues, and the people slew the priests of Baal. The people celebrated when the idols were broken and the bogus priests were expelled. The city, previously tormented by Athaliah's terrible leadership, has finally achieved calm. With Athaliah's death, her brutal reign came to an end, and Judah began to return to the Lord's ways under the guidance of the young king. The people were relieved, and the land was tranquil, as the shade of Athaliah had been lifted. The Bible presents a bleak picture of Queen Athaliah's reign. In both 2 Kings 11 and 1 Chronicles 24, she is directly linked to the worship of Baal, a false deity. This association is particularly apparent because her name incorporates the word Yah, which refers to Yahweh, the God of Israel. Despite this relationship, Athaliah abandoned the worship of the real God in favor of her mother, Jezebel's pagan rituals. Athaliah's rule was distinguished not just by her religious beliefs, but also by the fact that she was a woman ruling in a male-dominated culture. The priests and people of Judah may have rejected her, since she was not a descendant of King David, the line from whom Judah's kings were meant to descend. Her status as a female monarch was also likely to elicit anger, as it was unusual and maybe undesired at the period. Despite the harsh portrayal of her leadership in the Bible, Athaliah remained on the throne for six years. This was no small effort and demonstrates her capacity to wield power effectively. She took advantage of her royal connections and origins, leveraging the authority she had gained during the reigns of her husband, King Jehoram, and her son, King Ahaziah. Her significant involvement in their leadership most certainly provided her with valuable expertise and insight into how the kingdom operated. Athaliah's economic independence contributed to her success as a queen. She was not wholly reliant on others for resources, allowing her to maintain authority and make judgments that benefited her. Her personal skills and political expertise also contributed significantly to her capacity to govern. Although the Bible stresses her wickedness and the bad impact she had on her husband and son, Athaliah was a capable and astute leader. Athaliah's story is intricate. On the surface, she is remembered as an evil queen who swayed Judah with her advocacy of Baals. But underlying that lies a story about a woman who, despite the obstacles, was able to secure and keep her position of authority during a period when it was uncommon for women to do so. Her reign, despite the darkness and controversy, demonstrates her might and cunning. Thank you for watching.